My name is Bruce Hayward and I'm an Auckland geologist. And here we are on the, the banks of the Tamaki Estuary and we're looking at the remains of a fossilised forest that was living here about a million years ago and has been buried and preserved in the peat that accumulated in a freshwater swamp here at that time. And only in the last few thousand years has the tide come in and started eroding it and exposed what we can see here today. So here's, here's a stump of a tree that was growing here. We can see it was growing here because its roots are going out in all directions into the soil that was here. And you can see the main part of the, the trunk was coming up here. And we can still see the grain of wood, which shows it's in upright position, it hasn't moved uh, from when it died and the top fell off. got some of these trunks and branches that have fallen off and been preserved so there's this long one here there's another one in here at a different angle and as we come here's two more lying here and we can see some of the the peat that was burying them uh, around them on all sides okay so at this locality we find evidence of the eruption of one of Auckland's 53 volcanoes. They all erupted in the last 200,000 years. And here we have the record of the starts of eruptions from Pamua Basin Volcano uh, 25,000 years ago. Now Pamua Basin Volcano is up the Tamaki River and just across the other side about one kilometre. And here we have a record of what the valley here was like just as it was about to erupt. Down at this level was where the, the swampy soil level was. And in here we can see evidence of reeds and rushes fossilised in here and their root systems coming down into the soil. So this locality was a freshwater swamp on the side of the, the Tamaki Valley 25,000 years ago. This block here has fallen out from here and when we turn it over we can see all these flattened reeds in here. A layer further around the corner, sometimes we open it up and we can find actually Swampastelia leaves preserved as fossils. So they also were growing in and around the edges of the swamp at that time. 